Do you find that you bring your spirituality into your work? Um, I think, well, on the, so all journalists should be humble because we are so often wrong. And, and that, people mistake what I mean by that. Um, Einstein had a really good record of being right about a lot of things. He was really wrong about mm -hmm. huge chunks. Uh, and I'm no Einstein, but the point was in scientific um, inquiry, you have a theory, you test it, you test it, you test it. And when you're proved wrong, it's not, oh, you idiot. It's, oh, that's wrong. Now we go over here. Mm. We, we build our understanding based on a sense of humility because you want to be as humble as possible because then you don't think that um, you don't miss the time that you're, you have a chance to discover something new. So that's the secular way to think about it. From a, from a Christian standpoint, humility is for me, as Merton says, it's our bread and butter. It's, um, it's important for me because of the way you treat other people. Um, it's important for me because, uh, because pride is one of the worst, I mean, if not the worst. Um, it is the worst. It's the worst. It's the worst. So you want to stay away from that. And so in terms of journalism, both in the way you treat people, but also the way you just um, look at things to be humble in, and make sure you're um, not bringing your you know, hot take to something, mm -hmm. that, you're, mm -hmm. that you're evaluating things uh, on the merits and in the moment. And um, I have disordered affections for sure in the personal realm and in the biz and in the news realm. I cover a lot of campaign politics and the chase and the, the drama of American politics and the what's happening. And, um, and that's really important, but it is over, we need to recalibrate the kinds of stuff we cover and the way we cover it because there are big long-term problems that are affecting lots and lots of people that don't get the kind of coverage they need to and don't get addressed in the public sphere the way they need to. And um, my faith pulls me to try to be better at that. And uh, we got a lot of work to do. Thank you for watching Faith in Focus. You can find more videos like this on our YouTube channel and subscribe so you never miss an episode. To learn more about how you can have your story featured on the show, visit americamag.org slash faithshow.